just want to kick off first by unveiling Swamiji's new book. So if we could uh, unveil it, please. Energizing your mind. Big round of applause, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Learn the Art of Mastering Your Thoughts, Feelings, and Emotions by Gorgopal Das. And we'll have the privilege of listening to him in just a moment. All those here that are his fans, follow him on social media, follow his uh, sayings. All of you, raise your hand. <laughs> That's fantastic. And, and hopefully we'll be able to take some of your questions also during the session. So, Amiji, let's start off by talking about, you know, you've written several books. So what prompted you to write this one? Energize your mind. Uh, you know, what was the thought behind it? Uh, what uh, drove you uh, to decide that something new needed to be shared this time around? Sure. Uh, first of all, thank you very much, Abha. And uh, we're meeting just in a couple of weeks. We did the India Conclave together and now here at Sahit Tak. Great pleasure to meet you again. My gratitude to India today for having me over again at uh, Sahit Tak. And my gratitude to everyone for coming here this evening. A very good evening to you, ladies and gentlemen. Big round of applause, guys. Come on. <laughs> so, what prompted me to write this book? John Milton once said something very interesting. He said that the mind can turn hell into heaven and heaven into hell. How many of us have had an experience that you were on a holiday... But somebody did something extremely upsetting to you and the holiday was ruined. You were in a heavenly place and because your mind was upset, heaven turned into hell. And how many of you have had this experience that you were like crammed up in an economy seat, but you were with someone whom you love so much and you are having the best conversation of your life, even in the most hellish situation you had the best time? Brilliant. Brilliant. That's exactly what John Milton said. The mind can turn heaven into hell or hell into heaven. Let me tell you a story. While I was studying at the College of Engineering, Pune, we had a, a college canteen was on the banks of a river. When you have a cafeteria which is on the banks of a river, what an exotic place that could be, right? And we were sitting there. And the best thing that our cafeteria would offer us, our canteen would offer us is samosas. How many of you guys love samosas? I mean, who in Delhi doesn't like samosa? Sorry. It's a wrong question to ask, you know. So we ordered for this a plate of samosa, my friend, me sitting there. And before the samosa came, this friend of mine was like super hyper. He was saying, what a fantastic day today. The weather is so great. And look at the beautiful ripples on the river. Like super hyper about everything is going great. And then the samosa came. He picked up the samosa, took the first bite, and he said, This is the best samosa I've had in my entire life. I said, This guy's really hyper today. Well, samosa roj khade hum log. And as he just bit into it and had taken like three bites, another friend came to us and he said, You know what? I said, What? He said, Our results are out. Now, as soon as we said your results are out, we asked, so what happened to our results? So I had done well. He asked what happened to his results. And you know how results in India can be exam results? Any youngsters know how, how pressurizing exam results can be? Like one boy was walking with his dad, college-going boy, and he got a message from his friend saying our results are going to be out in five minutes. The guy said, I'm walking with dad. Agar phone utha ke pata gaya, fail fail ho gaya, to idhere kutai hogi. So, this is code language we communicate. Karte hai. If I fail in one subject, say good morning to you, I'll understand. If I fail in two, say good morning to you and dad. In five minutes, he got a message saying good morning to you, dad, family, and friends. <laughs> I'll tell you. <laughs> Exams are a nervous time, exam results. So, while we were sitting there, this guy comes up and says our results. I was doing fine. This fellow, the samosa, the river, the ripples on the river, the beautiful weather, the karara samosa, the best in his life. So what happened to me? He said, you flunked in all subjects. A baby uske hath mein wo aadha samosa aisa hi tha. The weather was the same. The ripples of the river were the same. 
the samosa was the same but now in the samosa i was seeing his father's face that i have to face my dad tonight and that's when I, and his his face dropped because you know it meant something to him and that's when i got this point here that you know when the state of your mind changes the best things don't give you pleasure and happiness when your state of mind is right even the simplest things can bring joy so that's why i felt it's important that we learn how to deal with the mind learn how to master our thoughts our feelings our emotions and that was the idea behind energize your mind so so amit ji what do you think uh, yeah yeah <laughs> oh, thank you what do you think is the biggest pain point for the youth today you know you're talking about exams and failure and uh, studying you know what do you think is the biggest point of anxiety stress is it the digital age is it competing on social media is it trying to get a job is it trying to get a girlfriend or a boyfriend what is the biggest stress today i think how many of you guys here grew up hearing from your fa- family or parents look at that other fellow how hard he studies and you don't yeah how many of you grew up hearing this look at your brother or your sister how well behaved and look at yourself i am astonished at the bug in the way we were brought up they were always told look at others never to look at ourselves when two indian couples meet each other the ladies are looking at each other's jewelry and the guys are looking at each other's wives i'm like apni ko dekhna mere bhai you look at your why you looking at somebody else's wife like one guy he came back home he had failed his exam and his father is saying dekh wo tere class mein meri padhti hai na usko dekh lukhe wo first aayi hai lukhe aur tu fail ho gaya kaise fail ho gaya the guy said dekh dekh ke fail hua because the father was saying dekh 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 constantly i'm like amazed at how people are being told constantly look at others now bring that concept of comparison looking at others in the social media age which is where all our youngsters are living in today where instagram stories are all about where am i where am i spending my holiday instagram stories are about how am i building my body instagram stories are about how am i am in the right size of my clothes instagram stories are about how i look well Sometimes I feel when I'm constantly looking at what others are doing I start feeling inadequate I start feeling I'm not enough Mujhe lagta hai ki mujhe enough hone ke liye mere bicep bade hone chahiye Mujhe lagta hai ki mujhe enough hone ke liye mujhe size zero hona chahiye Mujhe lagta hai mujhe enough hone ke liye thoda aur life exciting hona chahiye Mujhe enough hone ke liye mujhe thoda Singapore holiday jana padega मुझे इनफ होने के लिए आई जस्ट नीड समथिंग मोर टू बी इनफ एंड दैट प्रेशर दैट स्ट्रेस ऑफ ट्राइंग टू बी समबडी एल्स हैज टेकन अवे द ऑथेंटिसिटी ऑफ आवर लाइफ एंड आई फील व्हाट इज द मोस्ट रिक्वायर्ड एंड मोस्ट नेसेसरी टू अस इज लीडिंग एन ऑथेंटिक लाइफ एंड द प्रेशर कम्स फ्रॉम सोशल मीडिया इज अ ग्रेट टूल यू गाइज नो मी बिकॉज आई एम देयर मतलब मैं सोशल मीडिया को गाली दू तो धंधा बंद हाउ कैन वी डू दैट सोशल मीडिया इज अ ग्रेट टूल वी कैन स्प्रेड द मैसेज वी कैन स्प्रेड अवेयरनेस वी कैन कनेक्ट टू पीपल वी कैन ग्रो अ बिजनेस वी कैन डू सो मच द इश्यू इज वेन वी गेट इन टू दैट मोड ऑफ लुकिंग एट अदर्स कॉन्स्टेंटली हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू वेन यू वेक अप द फर्स्ट थिंग यू डू इज लुक एट योर स्मार्टफोन्स थैंक यू हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू वेन यू गो टू बेड the last thing you see is your smartphone hena can you imagine what this is doing guys i'm not saying don't use i'm saying but the more you look at the lives of others you're going to think that your life is not exciting enough your life is life is not adequate enough and trust me you have everything in your life at the moment to live a satisfied life if you learn to focus on your own self but dusron ke paas dekhenge तो नहीं हो पाएगा
So I, I want to get a few questions in from the audience as well. So if anybody, yeah, there's a, lots of them, but the girl, yeah, right yeah, there. Yeah, sure. Whenever I saw you, you are very happy, calm, positive. How do you maintain it? Because at one day, I feel I'm the best girl. But at next day, I feel I'm the worst in this world. So how do you maintain it for the whole journey? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Tejal. What a brilliant a question. question. Loud round of applause yeah. for Tejal's question. question. What a brilliant question that is. And uh, one, that, one, most, one more thing. Okay, I'm brilliant Pune. means one more. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Please. We are Punekar. Oh, you're Punekar. Oh, Marathi yeah. Boltes ka? Of course. Okay. <laughs> and especially Dehu Road. Okay. Then waiting. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, brilliant question, Tejal. Such a fantastic question that, you know, how do we maintain that state of happiness when I don't feel happy? Yeah. How many of you have had this feeling and in the morning you're kind of okay? And in the afternoon, you hit rock bottom. Any of you had that feeling? I thought it was just coffee, you know. The co <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we go through such a range of emotions throughout the day, right? The first thing I want to say to all of you is, please stop being overly obsessed with being happy. Yeah, sure. Sure. There is no need to be happy all the time. Please stop being overly obsessed with being positive. There is no need to be positive all the time. Please stop overly obsessed with this thing that I have to smile always. There is no need to smile all the time. Do you realize that this pressure to be positive and happy is making me negative and miserable? Do you realize that this pressure is toxic? When you have to be pressurized to be positive, that becomes Toxic positivity. It's not positivity. Ek baat aap log sab dhyan rakhiye dosto. Pressure mein mat rahiye. Accept your emotions with full authenticity. When I feel low, it's alright to feel low as long as I don't feel low all the time in a chronic way. If I feel low and negative all the time, I need help. But if I feel low on a daily basis, someday somebody is going to say something. So, somebody comes and says, you look like a hog. I'm going to say, smile, thank you, sir, for that compliment. I'm going to feel insulted. I'm going to feel like I'm rubbish. I'm going to feel like I'm a piece of trash that he's calling me a hog. You know what I mean? So the first thing, guys, one very important principle, stop taking pressure. If some of you follow me on LinkedIn, you'll see yesterday I put up a post on LinkedIn. And the post said, today we have no motivational quotes. If you want to give up, give up. <laughs> That's the post I put. And in that post, I wrote a caption saying, guys, you need a break. You need a pause. Okay, bhai. Bura lag raha hai na? Lag raha hai. Aaj aisi sham nikal denge. Kal sabere nahi lage ye ensure karna hai. Parso sabere nahi lage ye ensure karna hai. Rahi baat meri. कि मैं क्यों इतना खुश हूं क्या मुझे भी ऐसे लो मोमेंट्स होते है ना आ रहा है <laughs> मेरे लो मोमेंट्स इसमें आएंगे गिव अस अ प्रीव्यू गिव अस वन गिव अस एन एग्जांपल आई आई हैड अ चॉइस बिटवीन being between keeping my image as a monk and saying I am the holier than thou, always happy monk, sab theek hai, koi problem nahi hai, meri life mein sab sorted hai guys. I could have put that image up or I could have become more vulnerable saying I also have these problems like you guys have and here's what I do to deal with it, that synergize your mind, right. It's not a holier than thou book saying, okay, monks have no problems. Any monk who says they don't have a problem are blatantly lying. How many of you have problems in your life? You have a solution to your problem? You have a phone and you have a home screen wallpaper. You have a spouse card, you have a spouse card, you have a relationship, you have a GFBF card, and you have a problem. If I can handle this thing, I can handle anything in my life. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> Just to make it a little lighter, right? But a story from my personal life, she's asked, why do I smile and why have I smiled? I'm saying something here which I don't often say. 
for the last 29 years i suffer from a pain in my temples here 24 hours a day 24 hours a day 7 days a week for the last 29 years i live in absolute hell absolute hell when it comes to my pain it is absolute hell i don't know what a pain free life means i haven't experienced a pain free moment in the last 29 years as i speak to you i am in pain when i sleep i am in pain when i talk i am in pain when i eat i am in pain when i travel i am in pain when i write i am in pain whatever i do i am in pain and you might have your own examples for pain like i have mine you have yours physical emotional whatever we all have our pains you know what here's what i learned in life how many of you drive cars great here's a car that i definitely want you all to drive in your life the c in the car stands for change what you can change about that pain my headache my pain here i should change what i can change so i tried allopathy i tried homeopathy i tried naturopathy i tried neuropathy i tried tirupathy everything i tried whatever possible options were there i tried everything the pain is still there couple of years back i was in london i still don't stop trying kyun rokna hai agar ho paaye kuch click ho jaye kyun rokna hai problem hai na us par koshish karte rahiye na ji so see in the car stands for change what you can change but you know what there are going to be things which you can't change like my headache 29 years and you're still always smiling you're yeah. always smiling every I time try. we see you you're smiling I try. <laughs> and you're giving hope to people you're being positive yeah, you're I try great. my bit <laughs> so the a in the car stands for accept what you can't change when you know that there's nothing you can do about it you have to accept it and then when you realize that you can't even accept it the certain thing you can't even accept the r stands for you have to rise above it or remove yourself from a lady a friend of mine 25 she got married and in 6 months she found out her husband's gay look i have no problem with somebody's sexual orientation is their choice right but what does this lady do she stuck in a relationship with her husband's gay she can't change she can't accept the only solution was r which was remove herself from that real toxic relationship but when you have a pain like this you can't change you can't accept you can't remove that is when i feel rising above is important spirituality mindfulness meditation conscious breathing being in your own space to be able to come to terms with it and just because someone has struggles doesn't mean sorry just because somebody is smiling doesn't mean they don't have struggles it just means they've chosen to focus on the brighter side and deal with the neg- la- negative side of their life not to not to deal with it but chosen to focus on the brighter side thank you for sharing swami ji that's a that's a big one and like he said it's not something that he speaks of often uh, lots of questions can we have the mic to uh, uh, the gentleman there and तो जैसे अभी आपने कार का एग्जाम्पल दिया इसी तरीके से जब हम किसी भी कार्यालय में होते हैं ऑफिस में कार्य करते हैं माइक थोड़ा खरीब पकड़ेंगे आप? हाँ तो कई बार लोगों से हमारी अपेक्षाएं होती हैं कि वो हमारी मदद करें जैसे हम कोई प्रोजेक्ट में काम करते हैं बट सामने वाला रिस्पॉन्स नहीं करता तो हम लोग आमतौर पर नेगेटिव उनके बारे में सोचते हैं और वो ऐसा लगता है कि अपने आप खुद को स्पॉइल करता है सामने वाले को कोई स्पॉइल नहीं करता है तो हाउ टू डील दैट टाइप ऑफ द सिचुएशन थैंक यू करेक्ट करेक्ट how many of you have had experience of this the people don't help you you expect something of them they don't help you unki zindagi mast chal rahi hai koi problem nahi hai dikkat kisko hai aapko how many of you have had expectations from your spouses uthaiye haath uthaiye haath dar kyun rahe hain how many of you been disappointed oh thank you Abba says I'm on yeah, stage. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so 
sorry sorry i'm just joking <laughs> i mean will there ever be an individual in the world who can fulfill all our expectations fully are people born in this world just to fulfill your expectations are you the be all the end all the center of the universe that the whole universe has to do your bidding why are we assigning ourselves such a sense of importance ki yeah, everybody has to listen to what i want say and everybody has to agree with what i feel like itni importance itni ahmiyat khud ko nahi deni chahiye having said that having said that there are going to be these toxic people around they are 200% toxic matlab wo lukhe baithe rahenge aise आप कुछ अपेक्षा कर रहे कि वो कुछ करे वो कुछ नहीं करेंगे कुछ नहीं करेंगे और सारा प्रेशर आएगा आप पर और फिर आप सोचेंगे ये बदलता क्यों नहीं है वो तो मौज कर रहा है मैं सवाल पूछ रहा हूं वो बदलता क्यों नहीं है इस सवाल से अच्छा पूछना चाहिए मैं बदलता क्यों नहीं हूं क्योंकि वो तो बदलने वाला है ही नहीं वो तो बदलने वाला है ही नहीं है ना अगर उसके साथ काम करना ही पड़े उसके साथ रिश्ता रखना ही पड़े तो कम्युनिकेट कीजिए कि मेरे से इतना होगा इससे ज्यादा मैं नहीं करूंगा ड्रॉ योर बाउंड्रीज ड्रॉ योर बाउंड्रीज कम्युनिकेट क्लियरली स्पीक स्ट्रेट नो प्रॉब्लम ये इतना होगा इससे ज्यादा उससे अपेक्षा भी नहीं करनी चाहिए इससे ज्यादा हमको भी कुछ नहीं करना चाहिए दूसरी चीज ऐसी सिचुएशन में किसी सुपीरियर की मदद लेनी चाहिए अगर कोई हो जिससे मदद लेकर ये सॉर्ट आउट किया जा सके उनसे मदद लेनी चाहिए और तीसरी चीज इतना करने के बावजूद वो अडियल अगर नहीं बदले और आपको वहीं रहना पड़े ना तो अपनी सहन शक्ति भी बढ़ानी सीखना चाहिए क्योंकि आपको उसकी जरूरत भी है है ना थैंक यू my god you're all asking like <laughs> poignant questions i actually yeah, have yeah. Uh, two quick questions one i want to know how other monks react to you ki ye to hamari puri sadhu image change karte rahe hain so how do your colleagues react to the sort of new image that has been brought out that's so approachable that's so fresh right. second you motivate all of us all the time who motivates gaur gopal das wow standard questions i get asked <laughs> this is one of them and one of them is what made you change to come to become a monk standard but thank you for those questions uh, first one of course is uh, how do the fellow monks and my colleagues in the ashram react to this kind of a change i'll tell you this is how i think main mere sath na pehle koi photo nahi khichata tha aaj ye andar hi nahi aane de rahe मैं 26 साल से यही काम कर रहा हूं जी oh 26 साल मैंने कोई आलू नहीं छिले यही कर रहा हूं मैं और आ, आ, क्या हो गया अचानक कि सबको सेल्फी चाहिए सॉरी आपको नहीं कह रहा है डोंट फील डोंट टेक इट पर्सनली एंड डोंट फील बैड आई एम जस्ट सेइंग लोग ना जी मेरे साथ नहीं तस्वीर खिंचा रहे हैं मेरे बदले हुए वक्त के साथ फोटो खींच रहे हैं अगर ये वक्त नहीं रहेगा आएगा कोई मुझसे पूछने आएगा कोई वही फोटो खिंचाने इसलिए मैं कई बार कहता हूं जिनके न आते थे जवाब जिनके न आते थे जवाब उनके सलाम आने लगे जिनके न आते थे जवाब उनके सलाम आने लगे मेरा वक्त क्या बदला मेरे नीम के पेड़ पे आम आने लगे कैन यू बिलीव दिस सब बदले हुए वक्त का खेल है दोस्तों ऑल चेंज टाइम्स सो फॉर मी माई ट्रू जेन्युन रिलेशनशिप आर दोज हु आर नॉट कनेक्टिंग टू माई चेंज टाइम्स हु आर कनेक्टिंग टू मी द वे आई एम पहले जैसा था उनके लिए मैं आज भी वैसे ही हूं कल भी मैं उनके लिए वैसे ही रहूंगा मेरी जो पॉपुलरिटी है फेम है या जो प्रेजेंस है उससे उनका कोई लेना देना नहीं सो माई फेलो आश्रम मेट्स 
we have deep, genuine, authentic friendships, which are not based on the times I am in. And I feel that's my close circle. My close circle is people who don't connect to my name outside, but to connect to me and accept me for who I am. So, yes, they do sometimes have a little bit of a, not always, some of them have a little bit of a, not discomfort, but a question ki aap, seedha boliye na thoda spirituality. Ye itna ghuma phira ki, itna ghuma. Sometimes on social media people comment, aray Swami ji, bhoat ho gaya ye abhi. Abhi boliye seedha. This is what people comment. So that's sometimes what happens. Uh, I don't know if I'm motivating anybody, madam. I, I really have no idea. I know one thing. I try to be very authentic and I, am, I, do what, I do what brings me great satisfaction. And I believe in self-expression. In the course of that, if somebody else gets benefited and motivated, I'm very happy to serve them in that way. But who motivates me? Uh, one of my biggest motivation is my mother and my grandmother. My grandmother left this world last year at an age of 100 years. Wow. My grandma was a full 100 years century. <laughs> like amazing. And that lady, at the age of 92 and 94, she got cancer twice. She fell down thrice and broke her spine. Through those last 10 years, every single time my grandma was back up on her feet, walking after physiotherapy till she was 100. After three spinal injuries and two cancers, she lost my aunt, two of her, two of her daughters, my aunt, my father, right, my father, her son, her husband, my grandfather, four of her grandchildren, my cousins. She saw all of that. And every single time I saw my grandmother, when my father left, I went for the cremation and my grandma was there. And my grandmother, after the cremation was over, she held my hand and said, Tu ja, beta. Main sab sambhal lungi. With a smile on her face, that tenacity, that resilience, that grit, that determination, that fighter spirit, that fortitude is my motivation. You know, my mother, my mother, these are unsung heroes. They don't wear a cap. They don't wear a cap. But we don't know that they've done so much for your life. My mother, uh, sh I lost my father like 12 years back, 13 years back. What a lady. What a lady. I mean, single-handedly managing everything. And the one thing she keeps telling me is, the one thing I don't want to be is a botheration in your work. Usually a mother who is now a widow would constantly ask for, you know, you should be doing this. I don't want to be a botheration in your journey. Then my motivation, of course, is my spiritual guru, Radhanath Swami, in whom I found my shelter in whom I found my connection, in whom I found spiritual wisdom. And my motivation is every single one in this room. Because I'll tell you, I'm not exaggerating, you guys don't realize that through your tiny appreciation, you're sending an energy to me, even through your smartphones. And that energy is what makes me do what I do. So very grateful for every reader, every viewer who watches us, reads us, for their love, their support, and the incredible energy that they sent to me. So very, very grateful. Thank you. All right, a couple of more questions. Um, who should we give the mic to? Please, please tell me. Should I give it to you? Okay, uh, good evening, sir. Good evening. Mike, I have two questions. Uh, the first is, how do you find your purpose in life? Can you kindly hold your microphone? Please? How do you find your purpose in life? And the second connected question is, you are on your search seeking some paths, what if you hit a roadblock, how do you move beyond it? Right. That, that, uh, how are you going to answer this in like, <laughs> how do you find your purpose in life? Yeah. In like one answer, it must be. Uh, yes, I'll give you just a uh, quick, quick one pointer on it. Somebody asked Michelangelo, they said, sir, you make such beautiful sculptures. I mean, what's the secret behind making such exquisite, you know, top of the end sculptures? Michelangelo gave an answer which was like spot on, absolutely incredibly inspiring. He said, I really don't make those sculptures. Those sculptures exist within the chunk of the marble 
what i do is i chisel off the excess marble from the top and what is existing will em- eventually emerge out right i feel our purpose is like that sculpture wo andar hai humko kya karna hai wo andar hamara purpose aaya hai hamare sath lekin upar na bahut kachra bhara hua hai to dheere dheere jaise ye kachra confusions lack of uh, clarity ये सब धीरे धीरे जैसे डी क्लटरिंग होता है इट्स लाइक टेकिंग द चिजल ऑफ द मार्बल स्लोली द स्कल्पर रिवॉल्व सो फाइंडिंग योर पर्पज इज नॉट एन ओवर नाइट थिंग सर इट्स अ लाइफ जर्नी सम पीपल हिट ऑन टू इट रियली क्विक सम पीपल एंड मोस्ट पीपल आई वुड से टेक लॉन्ग वन थिंग आई कैन डेफिनेटली से अ पर्पज इज नॉट जस्ट टू कम टू दिस वर्ल्ड अर्न मनी पे बिल्स पे टैक्सेस पे मॉडगेजेस we not born to just pay taxes bills mortgages that's not what we born for there's something more that we definitely have and it will come in time if we seek it if we declutter if we take all those layers that are off slowly and steadily we take them off we will slowly reach there how do you move when you hit a roadblock when you hit a roadblock i think like i sometimes say when when option a doesn't work there's a b when option b doesn't work there's a c when option c doesn't work there's a d the alphabet has 26 letters sir not one and therefore with one road block we wouldn't want to kind of say that's the end of it all yes at that time we can seek help we can seek guidance we can seek inspiration we can seek the motivation to keep going but let's not give up yeah thank you that's just what i was going to say that you know people have this idea that chasing your purpose is a halo dream and the journey to it is golden but it may not be and it can be filled with you know a lot of twists and turns right. so it's all about the attitude Absolutely. that you go into it Absolutely. with okay um i Can think yeah now? the boys they have had their hands, hands up for a long time for a yeah can we just take it there first cuz they've they've had it up for a long time yeah Hare Krishna Prabhu ji um sir as a student i learned a lot of things from bhagavad gita and then one thing that really inspired me a lot that one quote of krishna ji ki karm karte raho phal ki chinta mat karo and sir i want you to explain to me this okay thank you so much sir wow that's like a philosophically loaded question yeah. say it as it is say it as it is <laughs> straight as it is <laughs> in gita krishna says keep doing your duty do not look at the results right i'll give you my take on it this is how i look at it if i say keep doing my duty keep writing the book don't worry what will happen with the book in the future vaishali mathur from penguin is sitting right here he saying we are not having you as our author <laughs> yes madam i'm saying if i say that i write my book karm karte jao maine apni kitab likhi hai iske baad ek bhi copy nahi bikhe na koi dikkat nahi hai mujhe you karm karte ja phal ki apeksha mat kar ye penguin ki commissioning editor baithi hai samne wo kehne wali hai sir ye hamara last project hai sath mein now realistically realistically let's take the facts straight on when you are working will you ever be able to give your 200% if you don't focus on the result will you give your 200% passion to do something when you don't focus on the result you can't so which means when krishna says in the gita karm karte ja 200 pratishat asakti se karm karna chahiye you should work with 2 Hundred percent attachment, not detachment. You should be attached, not detached. That's not the message of the Gita. अगर गीता का संदेश होता detachment, तो अर्जुन को कृष्ण कहते, भाई तुझे जो तीर मारना है मार, नहीं मारना है मत मार, इधर बैठना है बैठ जा, छोड़ के जाना है भाग जा. Two hundred percent attachment to your work. Now, when Krishna says "phal ki apeksha mat kar," the detachment part is. जब मैंने 200 प्रतिशत कर दिया ना, उसके बाद जो मेरे हाथ में नहीं है, उससे detachment रखिए. There are going to be factors which are not in my control. There are going to be factors which I cannot define. 
be detached from that don't be detached from giving your focus on what you do so karma karte ja phal ki apeksha mat kar ka matlab hota hai apne kaam mein 200% samarpan kariye aur wo hone ke baad mein jab kuch aise factors honge jo aapke hath mein nahi hai phir usme withdraw karke shant rehne ki koshish kijiye ye karma yog hai thank you you know there's a uh... you know you talked about having the right attitude and you gave so many examples but you know some people genuinely have a lot of bad luck yeah. especially when it comes to uh, you know f- forget other things but especially when it comes to health and those things are not always in your control now when you say rise above sometimes in those instances it's emotionally uh, physically it's it's not even possible to rise above out of those situations i mean what does one do then correct what does we what does one do when you know you're in a situation where you can't rise above emotionally yeah. physically matlab kai baar na logon ki situations aisi hoti hai na ji yahan baith ke bolna bahut easy hota hai stage pe aakar ek microphone haath mein lekar answers dena ek bahut easy cheez hoti hai lekin jab 29 saal aapka pain jaye nahi aasan nahi hota ghar mein koi terminally ill hai somebody is going through a serious divorce heartbreak it's painful physical illness is painful what do you do to rise above here's what i feel uh i don't think you are from that generation but i am from a generation where when we wanted to watch a movie we could hire a video tape and play it on a video player cassette player hum log kiraye pe le sakte the wo हम लोग तभी किराए पे बाइसिकल लेते थे बाइसिकल चलाने के लिए किराए की साइकिल किराए की वीडियो के सेट्स और अमेरिका में तो हाल ही में किराए के ब्लॉकबस्टर डीवीडीज भी थी द पॉइंट में अच्छा ये छोड़ दीजिए हाउ मेनी यूड लाइक टू टेक अ लोन फॉर अ स्टार्टअप एनीबडी टेक अ लोन या हाउ मेनी यू वुड लाइक टू गो ऑन शार्क टैंक एन हैव द गाइज फंड योर स्टार्टअप है ना मतलब वेन यू डोंट हैव समथिंग यू you take it from somebody else right so similarly when i can't be positive when i lack strength when i lack hope and i know i can't do it on my own yeah. i need to seek help from somebody else if not to resolve it fully to feel even a 0.1% better than what i am so when i'm so helpless i think it's really important that we seek help yeah Okay. At the back, can okay, I get a one question? One last, Devi. One last, yeah. Yeah, one last question. Whoever gets the microphone. Just a second. Yeah. I had a microphone, so I can do it fully. Hare Krishna, Prabhu Ji. Han Ji. My questions to you: to how to train our brain with this principle to focus on on self. How to train our friends to focus how on? How to train our brain. with Brain. the principle of how to focus on on self ourselves yeah okay how to how to train our brain with the principles to, to focus, focus on ourselves on is what self. you're asking yeah okay, sure uh when we're talking about training like when i was in the india conclave i was giving the example of going to a gym if you go to a gym and if you're going to lift 25 kilos on the first day goodness me it's not happening because you don't have that capacity yet you you your muscles your body are not yet in a position to be able to lift that much so what does a trainer do to you start with 2 kilos you begin with 2 kilos you get your muscles and your body used to the 2 kilos weight once you're ready with that the trainer says now you're ready for a raise he'll raise it to 3 4 5 6 7 8 whatever your capacity is and slowly it steadily build your strength your stamina your ability your capacity to handle those weights and that is when your body grows that's when your muscles grow right i don't think any aspect in life is an exception to this principle if i want to transform and change myself start small we don't have to train ourselves overnight like aaj bharti aur kal chakravarti ऐसे नहीं होता भर्ती होने में और चक्रवर्ती होने के बीच में बहुत युद्ध लड़ने पड़ते हैं सो डोंट से दैट ओके आई वांट टू ट्रेन माय सेल्फ 
And I, I'm going to change now. I want to change now. Hyper. You know those guys who go to the gym and say, I'm going to get in shape now. Two days. Oh my God, I thought somebody here is laughing. Two days, three days, and they quit going to the gym eventually. So change in a way that is slow, small, but sustainable, and 200% you will get there. Don't again put that pressure on yourself that change is not so much in such a time. Why? One step ahead towards your goal is a step ahead. And a journey of a thousand miles begins with one step. So take that step today. Thank you. Thank you so Thank much. You a much big round of applause, everyone. Thank you. Thank you very much. And I'm sure there'll be... Uh, yeah. Hanji, one. Sorry. Yes. Hari Om Swamiji. Hari Om Ji. During your... Up, uh, के चर्चा के दौरान आपका हाथ हमेशा जब आप माइंड की बात करते हैं तो यहां जाता है इसका क्या अर्थ है क्या माइंड एंड ब्रेन इज द सेम और अगर यह चीज है तो क्या आप अपने इस लक्ष्य को कुड यू एनर्जाइज योर माइंड कंप्लीटली आर यू सेटिस्फाइड थैंक यू ओके वाह that's a question. <laughs> That's the last, huh? Yeah. Number one, the brain and the mind are two different things. If you could compare it with something, the brain is the hardware, the physical, and mind is the software, which is not the tangible and seen. Right? Brain is like the physical things in a computer, but soft mind is not something that you can see, the chips and wires and connections. No. So they're two different aspects. And second as a question, have I energized my mind fully? Sir, I said to you, even at the, in the beginning I mentioned, probably in a passing I mentioned, that we are all work in progress. Hum sab work in progress hai ji. Agar koi kahe ki maine apne mind ko pura energize kar liya hai, mujhe vishwas kabhi nahi hoga us insaan mein. Kyunki hum insaan hai, bhagawan nahi. और इसीलिए अगर एनर्जी अपने को खुद को अगर हमें अपना माइंड एनर्जाइज करना है रोज का काम है ये जरूर कह सकता हूं कल से बेहतर हूं ये जरूर कह सकता हूं 26 साल पहले जब शुरू किया था तब से बेहतर हूं लेकिन अगर ये कहूं कि पहुंच गया वहां आज इस साहित्य तक के मंच पे वो सरासर झूठ होगा सर और केवल मैं नहीं कोई भी यहां बैठकर अगर ये बात बोले वो सरासर झूठ होगा क्योंकि हम सब वर्क इन प्रोग्रेस है हम सब कोई अलग अलग नहीं है जी आप और मैं और यहाँ बैठे सब हम सब इंसान है सामान्य इंसान है जीवन ने हमको कुछ ऐसी परिस्थितियों में डाला है कुछ ऐसी सर्कमस्टेंसेस में डाला है असामान्य लोग मानते हैं लेकिन मैं तो सामान्य हूं हम सब वैसे ही इंसान है वही खून हम में बहता है वही मन है वही प्रकार की समस्याएं हमारे जीवन में आती है और इसलिए हम सब वर्क इन प्रोग्रेस है हम सब एक दूसरे को प्रेरणा देते रह सकते हैं एक दूसरे के माइंड को एनर्जाइज करने के लिए मैं कभी ये नहीं सोचता कि आप मुझे प्रेरणा नहीं दे सकते यदि मैं आपके साथ बैठ के बातचीत करूं तो हो सकता है आपकी जीवन की स्टोरी और आप जो करते हैं उससे भी मैं प्रेरणा ले पाऊं सो वी नीड टू इंस्पायर इच अदर टू एनर्जाइज योर माइंड एंड वी आर वर्क इन प्रोग्रेस एट ऑल टाइम्स थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच अ बिग राउंड ऑफ अपलॉज एंड आई एम श्योर यू डिस्कवर लॉट ऑफ अदर नगेट्स इन द बुक थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच